everyone, Matt with 303 Sprinklers. Back here again, we got a tip for PVC cutting. Especially what you do when you run into old PVC. So check this out. I'm going to show you, once we get this camera set up here, um, one of the easiest ways you can cut PVC and why you want to do it this way. So what we have here is a piece of old PVC junk. It's cheap, low quality. Then we have one we use two or three sprinklers, Schedule 40. Schedule 40, and when it's new and you know it, you can use your cutters. You can just cut right to it, just like that. No issue whatsoever. That's what it's made for. Boom. However, when you run into a system that you're not sure what kind of quality pipe is and you're in the ground, watch what will happen if you try and do it. You run the risk. Look at that. Now, it, this one in this situation didn't break, but you run the risk of cracking your PVC. So this is something that I've found over the years that really helps. When you're in a pit, little by little, go back and forth, just like that. Now look at the difference, way less stress on the pipe. And you don't run the risk of cracking it like you would normally. I kept this from a client just so I could show you folks how, how to use these tools. And the reason I like these instead of saws is that saws got a lot of PVC trap on them. And so if you're on a main line, you don't want to be sawing and having PVC get into the valves and you might you have to flush the system. It just gets to be a real pain. So my suggestion is if you're going to be using, doing any PVC work, grab a set of tools, PVC cutters instead of the saws. I, I have yet to have a situation where I couldn't use these. That's my suggestion for cutting PVC.